two of the ethics committees are actually equipped to deal with the, um, the intricate issues that arise from, from genomic research. Most of us who haven't you know, gotten into science will find ourselves, in a sense, left behind. And often what we pick up is second hand, and often what is second hand is distorted or misinterpreted. Similarly, for scientists who perhaps have never really thought about religious issues and the religious impact of what they do, a kind of conversation like this is important because they suddenly realize that there is a dimension of the human that cannot be reduced to biology. You cannot actually track the genome of the soul whatever that might mean, and it means different things to different religious people. But if you don't engage with that question, there's going to be the split between the scientists on one hand and the religious people on the other, and the result will be conflict and tension, and we all know we don't need another Galileo.